Hello and welcome to Rule of Thirds, a conversation about art, design and culture with your hosts Burns, Mike and Jude. If this is your first time listening, welcome to the family. Be sure to follow us on our Instagram at Rule of Thirds Pod. Don't be shy to say hi. A question about the arts and the craft. If you didn't know, then it's good that you asked. You tune into the culture. Just a rule of thirds if you want to. You could tune at work, yeah. You tell me, does that frame fit good? Does it feel right? You want to steal a photo for your website. But you want a logo we can design, right? Yeah. The rule of thirds is not your savior. Kendrick also made it clear that he is not your savior. We dissect Kendrick Lamar's album and the social commentary we followed. We also have a conversation about whether art can truly save this world. I've never seen the interviews actually. I I He's a man in this lifetime. (laughs) (laughs) Wait, what? So I was talking about hoes. Am I bugging? I swear he said like in the second in the second one. Oh, and we're in. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to do a better now. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> I said, I said, we're in. Are you happy? No, you actually, might, I think it might be hoes. Yeah. All of these hoes. Oh, yeah. You drove the frog. Book a session with Eckhart. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was hard. So, wait. Oh. This is what I realized. What? That whole album was a therapy session. It was session. a therapy session. It was. Yeah. yeah. I just, I just started. That's what, they, that's what the woman yeah. said, no? That's why, like, yeah, yeah, even in the beginning. And get, he was even getting advice to go to therapy at one point. Mm. Yeah, but um, from his uh, fiance. Yeah. 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 So, wait, was the person <laughs> arguing... Nigga don't need no therapy. <laughs> I was <laughs> out. Was the person arguing in We Cry Together meant to be... I, Hell no. I, I thought that no, was but like, That was more of like a conception of like what society what, looks like. Yeah, right? what the world looks like today. Okay, so we're in, right? So we we're just, inside. Wow. So, so, okay, this one... Oh, by the way, hey guys. How you guys doing? You guys <laughs> right, yeah? Welcome, welcome. Yeah, we're just discussing the Kendrick album. Jolt. No, this month. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> They're ambiguous, but you know. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's halfway, halfway. <laughs> <You're> like, huh? <laughs> but, boy, the album was crazy. Yeah, it was. Yeah. It was. I feel like... Yeah. Caused a bit of a commotion and stuff. In what, in what sense? Huh. Tia was all over the place. Was it yeah, Tia? Doesn't that, that ha- happen all the time? It does. But what was, no, the, t- okay. what was, what was the main? What was the main points from Tia? I feel like we're a few main points. Yeah, that was. Oh my god. Yeah. I feel like we probably need to discuss this points as we like discuss this album because yeah, huh. perhaps get them out of the way before we get to the good part even because yeah. I mean I think a lot of people started talking about the Kodak Black situation and why he was even necessary on the album. Am I really going hell already? Yeah. Uh, that was. What did the- Kodak? Um, I must say Kodak. What do they call that <laughs> black dude? Um, well, he's been accused um, of rape? rape, and I think he admitted to um, he pleaded guilty for it for something. Yeah, yeah, f- um, just so that the case could be done. Apparently, but then again, we don't like, we don't know the full details. But from what what we know <clears throat> is that he pleaded guilty for that particular situation. Mm. So people were just kind of like, wait, hold on, Kendrick, you're meant to be this high and mighty, save black people, you love the women, so on and so forth. And Why is why, why is Kodak on? And I feel like that's the main thing of this album, right? The whole idea of him like letting go of this savior complex that I feel like he low key kind of put on himself, and we also put on gonna, him. No, we no, he definitely put himself in that position. With, works, uh, to pimp a butterfly was very much. You bro, you could even go back here, yeah? section eighty. Mm-hmm. Yeah, in fact, you could even probably go back to overly dedicated. Okay. There are a lot of points where he was like. We need to, as a black community, we need mm, to do this. Mm. We need to do that. And like, I've been called, I've been called, I've been called. And everybody knows I'm a Kendrick stan. Yeah. So perhaps I'm biased, but I'm not biased to that point. Like, <laughs> I know for a fact that he put that on himself yeah. from the beginning. He always, he was always advocating for his community. Right. Um. So for, for him to then almost make it seem, and perhaps maybe it's just me reading on the surface, but for him to make it seem like we put him on, we put him in that position and he has no kind of part to play. Mm. A bit weird, yeah. It's true. I can't lie, it's a bit weird. Cause I know that was some initial like reaction. Some people were like, "Oh, like how?" Cause especially Savior yeah. as well. Like, <clears throat> yeah, uh, the song on the second disc, halfway through, um, where he talks about basically, um, I may have made you think, think, but I'm not your savior. Cole may have made you 
feel maybe it was something yeah and but then, I'm not but he's not your savior <laughs> future gets the money counter <laughs> money get nothing he's like oh yeah you know the money so counter like, yeah, this yeah, is yeah. for all of you need oh, yeah. oh, oh. <laughs> this is for all you people yeah you let, me, let, let, me, let me PG fire up a bit um, but and even the album cover as well with the crown of thorns yeah well, what's the name of the photographer again Ren oh I'll find it oh, even one second yeah, she's amazing. She's she she because I remember she shot for the Serena sisters. Hey, Serena, the Williams sister. Jesus Christ! Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah she, she shot is, yeah. them. You know the one where they were barefooted <coughs> in. The, um, I think it was Compton or something. Oh, name is Renella. Well, Ren- no, Renell. Yeah. Well, her, 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 um, her Instagram is Renella Ice, um, but her name is Renell Medora- Medorano. Medorano. Okay. She's, Medorano. She's really, really amazing. Her work is very um. What's the word? You know that we had that conversation, I think, an episode or two ago about album artwork mm-hmm. and how, especially with the LA people, they have a particular aesthetic. Right. That's what this was giving me. Okay. Okay. Very yeah. LA. It's mm-hmm. very um, honest and raw. Yeah. It wasn't like, let's glitz and glamour, editing. It's literally just a photo. Mm-hmm. Even the yeah. other pictures that weren't made, they didn't obviously make the album cover. <laughs> they were interesting as well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That whole campaign visually was like, I think it was really good. I, I love, really enjoyed it. So, from social media, I saw that it looks like he's been working on this for time. Because, yeah. but obviously, in the album, he did say he had a two year mental block or creative block. Mm. One, uh, 1,855 yeah. days. <laughs> yeah. Wondering where I've been. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, like, it looks like he's been doing it for time because I feel like everything has been timed to perfection. Because think about how the Heart Part 5 came out on the week before. Yeah. And then that almost blew up the, oh my gosh, he's coming back. Yeah. A lot and of people, that, a lot of people didn't like it, you know. Well, the hard part five. Oh, that's crazy. Yeah. Oh, that's crazy. Really, to me, boy. especially a lot of like Kendrick fans, like didn't ah. like it because they felt like it didn't really feel like the heart. Okay, like the heart series. Yeah. Okay. Okay. This felt like a song. What do people want? He's the artist. He so, can do whatever he wants. But no, you're right. Yeah. But I think sometimes you know people expect things when you you you, you can't. You can. You you can subvert mm. expectations. But oh, when you've done it on a consistent basis and people are changed. and suddenly you're like, let me go left, people are kinda like, Whoa, hold on a second. Mm. Like we're not used to this. And not to say that there was the quality drip, dipped or anything, but I think a lot of people are used to the hearts being very raw, um, very self reflective. Mm. But this it was, felt it was, more, quite, it was quite reflective though, but on a different well, it was more would you it say felt, it's more to do with the culture rather yeah, than... Yeah, yeah, it felt, it felt like, oh, the culture, the culture. The, it's yeah, very, this vague, I think, massive, I think that, mi- is, massive that is idea. the theme of him right now. I feel like even in the whole yeah. album, he was addressing elements of the black society, especially in America. I don't know about... But isn't that contradictory? With, in what but, sense? He I doesn't was, want to be a saviour, but yeah, he's but doing I, the same thing. No, but I he was going to say... He did kind of talk more about himself in the album. Maybe not in the heart fight. In the album, definitely but more the album was... That's probably his most... Not probably that is his most open most, most, and yeah. I feel like people album, want him to do too yeah, much. So. I feel like the Heart Five just, I guess, showed that actually people that are put to this pedestal, like you're right. Do you know what I mean? I feel like yeah. songs do different things. You can't yeah. expect a man to do everything in that one song. Yeah, but again, maybe yeah. maybe that's why the album was perfect because well, I say perfect very vaguely. Yeah. Some people want to call it very vaguely. Um, but in yeah. terms of like, it does exactly what he was he's trying to achieve, which is kind of like don't look at me as the greatest whatever or like the the guy to go to if anything yeah. is because you know there was a particular time especially like especially after to pimp a butterfly where everybody was like what does kendrick have to say about this mm-hmm. what does kendrick have to say about it? especially mm-hmm. when the marches started and no one was seeing kendrick like where's kendrick where's yeah. kendrick you know and i think the album doesn't it's a very like to talk about like from his mm-hmm. mom's death to uh you know like him having issues in his relationship and going to mm. therapy and having children. Like, there's a whole massive part of Kendrick. In fact, no one knows anything about the guy. Yeah, really and truly. Like, in comparison to anybody. Even, what? like, we know things about Drake. We know things about Cole. Yeah. Mm. No one really knows anything about Kendrick. Why do you think we put so much political influence on artists? Because they start to talk about political That things. That part right there. Like, he's, if he didn't, so if, if, if he okay, didn't so do it himself. Because of his status. Bro, no musician. one goes to future to ask about what Facts. Joe Biden even, even Drake. I think there was a time that I <clears throat> and others had an expectation for Drake to say things. But then we, we deep like, okay, what kind of mm. artist is Drake? Drake's not really one to talk about the state yeah. of the world right now. And what That's why Jay-Z, Jay-Z doesn't really talk about it either. Because no one really goes to him. And if he has, yeah. no, one, no one speaks to him though. 
True. True. I think he says it by his own accord. Like he, when he wants to, he will. Mm. And if he doesn't have mm. to, he won't. And mm. they're artists. I think that's the thing sometimes here. Like I think even Kendrick, I look at Kendrick as an artist. I don't look at him at anything else. No. Right. Like I don't look at Kendrick as a savior. I don't look at Kendrick as no. the guy who's come to save. No, no. Like no. I just look at him. He's a great artist, and music. that's it. Yeah. So sometimes when even when <clears throat> when he's making songs like Savior, and I'm bopping my head, I'm like, ooh, this is hard. Mm. I was thinking like he's just a great artist. That's it. I'm not gonna mm. go to Kendrick and ask him what the political climate of the world is. I'll be he, foolish. You know, he can yeah. say he can he can give his opinion, but I'm not. Every, everyone's yeah. got an opinion, but, but I'm saying, it's not politician. It's, it's, it's not, but it's at not the gospel. same time, though, when somebody puts that on themselves already, you, yeah, you can understand why other people would see them as that person because mm. yeah. with around like to pimp the butterfly times, especially like. In that, I think the end, Mortal Man, like where he's then speaking like to Tupac, yeah, um, at the end of that album, and the, he, he, what does Tupac say? Something about how like uh, the um, the wealthy dying and the yeah, like how he sees like an upri- uprising, and uprising and stuff like that, yep. and like yep. in that album, there's almost like this story of him like picking up a mantle. He like went to South Africa, yep. met you know went to Nelson Mandela's um, prison, prison site yeah. and stuff. Um, the whole how much a dollar really costs, yes. Yeah. Um, song as well so like when you have that in your music and then an, an album that just really talks about all manners of issues within like not only within um like america and like with race and like being black Worldwide. but also his own community too yeah and that's also been a thing within a lot of his albums so like i don't know if it's like a survivor's guilt thing that he, he almost, made it he almost then- dealt with too in order to have to like feel like okay but mm. i'm still here and i'm still showing up for like my city and my people and the world but i feel like he kind of like did go into that and that's where the expectation came from but he played into it and then he went too deep into it i, I think so i think you know heavy is the head that wears the crown and that's i don't know crazy. yeah for real and i don't know if that is you know album cover again he's wearing a, a crown of thorns i don't know if yeah, that was mad blasphemous that. still <laughs> <laughs> but like that is i think when you realize like damn this is hard like and i'm not the i'm not perfect as well and i think that's why this album that's what i've enjoyed about this album it's a very honest reflection of somebody who is a a person at the end of the day and they don't have it all figured out some takes i do not agree with and i I haven't seen you saying like there's a lot lot i don't agree with (laughs) especially when it comes to like the free thinking slash like yeah stuff there was a line here where he was like um some of us basically like we question how vladimir vladimir yeah 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 yeah, yeah. but some of us are, majority of us are vladimir <laughs> he was fitting i can't lie <laughs> he was fitting because a lot like, of people who, who move mad again <laughs> he's a killer she's a killer we's a killer yeah. that that part yeah i feel like it was you know what? Yeah, sometimes I don't want to over critique some particular parts mm. of art just because it is what it is. Yeah, you can't say it should have been like this or yeah. this is what it's supposed to be because it is literally what mm. it is and that's what it is. So I get it. But sometimes, yeah, when when <laughs> when he's saying like like I think he was comparing people who gangbang yeah. to people who feed the community <laughs> with high cholesterol food. Yeah, I was kind of like, bro. <laughs> Yeah. I love you, yeah, but <laughs> that's it, not the same thing that's still. The, that's the thing, though. It's his perspective. We don't agree, but it's yeah. his perspective. And I think that is, especially in today's culture, and spe- even though he was like, oh, yeah, all of you guys and scared of cancel culture and all that oh, kind yeah, of stuff. Yeah. I guess that's his own way of being like, this is my viewpoint and I'll stick with it. But I do think yeah. it's important for artists, let me say, yeah. to maybe like, figure out their stuff in real time obviously when it gets problematic and you say certain things that offend other people probably less of that but i think it's nice or refreshing to see something quite you know a very much a work in progress in my opinion anyway yeah of his thoughts yeah. and thinking aloud because in today's day and age when you think of like culture today everyone's safe because they don't want to say the wrong thing yeah and kendrick being kendrick i think he probably knows that he has that cultural capital where he can afford to maybe... He can afford to, yes! I felt like there was one so line... I feel like that's why he's done a lot of things on the album. One line from Saviour that, that, obviously I'm, I'm, I'm a Christian believer, but it made me laugh still. <laughs> um, it's from verse two, yeah. He says, obviously, I won't say certain words. But <laughs> he says, yeah, uh, um, bite their tongues in rap lyrics, scared to be crucified about a song, but they won't admit it. 
politically correct is how you keep keep an opinion. Mm. Uh, the is tap lips f who dare to be different. Seen the Christian say the vaccine mark of the beast. <laughs> <laughs> this part. That part is funny though. But then he says, he says, then he caught COVID and prayed to Pfizer ah. for <laughs> That is a really no, no. no oh. bro. You know what's funny? Yeah? A lot of Christians. Ha- that happened though. That mm. really. I, like, I remember so. seeing. Look, there was a WhatsApp group. There was a WhatsApp group. Chat. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man, there was a WhatsApp group chat here, and one of the uncles sent a video of him oh having the injection and the magnet and the magnet <laughs> mum put the phone there and said look you see it's, it's stuck uh, so now people were out here really boy. believing this is like they were like oh yeah this is the chip that they're putting in us and they're gonna track us and like fam they they know every everybody lives on earth If they, why do they need to track you when you live on earth where are you going <laughs> if they want to find you they'll find man's like yeah you know is the, is the so now nah, I hear that I hear and that. Even he said, oh, then I caught COVID and started to question... Um, well, Kyrie. Kyrie, will I stay organic or hurt in bed? Hurting in bed for two weeks is kind of painful. No, definitely still. Oh, like man. And then, yeah. Huh? Was that, oh... I beg your pardon? Is that Vladimir making nightmares? And actually, the ad-lib is how I get so low. And then he was like, oh, but that's how we all think. Only one way to go. Yeah. The collective consensus is high up. Calamities on repeat. I was just like, it, was yeah. it, it, it sounds like he's had a lot of time to think, like, he's been think about these still. things and just like put them out there. Where would you say, because <sighs> obviously there's certain songs yeah. that some people don't like, especially one song because of like a use of a slur. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right. Oh, my so, God. Yeah. Um, for Wait, those. What? Uh, Auntie, Auntie Diaries. Diaries. Oh, yeah. 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 So, he was dropping the F bombs. The F bombs yeah. yeah. dropped a lot. That makes me but, like. Like, winch mm. every time I hear it. I'm like, whoa, he actually said that. Yeah. But then there's the whole idea of the meaning and the message behind the song and the context that he's trying to use it in mm. justifies it. So there's that argument that's been happening about, especially from people um, within the LGBT plus community, like, obviously feeling like a way. Some people yeah. think, okay, can maybe see the action and that kind of overrides the use of the slur. But then obviously other people are like, don't be using this slur, it's a slur. Yeah. No matter the context. And I think I was going to ask, when it comes to like artists and trying to make a point and like the way they go about it, how does one balance, I guess trying to stay true to themselves because maybe in Kendrick's mind, he's thinking this is the rawest, yeah. most powerful way to get this like message out. <laughs> but then again, this is somebody who's saying cancel culture, cancel culture. So I'm not trying to conform to the cancel culture. Right. <laughs> well, <clears throat> <laughs> the last line of that song, yeah, says F bomb, F bomb, F bomb. We can say it together, but only if you let a white girl say, <laughs> I will repeat. <laughs> so I will repeat yeah. <laughs> but I feel like he's just proven a point. Personally, I wouldn't go about it like this, but mm. because of the kind of artist he is, that's how he's cho- chosen to done it, to yeah. do it. And I'm like, okay, cool. I I'm personally don't. And the thing is, we have to understand this world. We're going to have to disagree with people and yeah. we're going to have to agree. The way he's done, done it, people may not agree with it. And I get that. I actually mm. do understand because, again, that's a very offensive word. Yeah. Um. However, I get, like, if you listen to the whole song, it makes sense. In the context. In the context. But if you take yeah. out of context, it sounds crazy. Mm. Yeah, I can't lie. It still sounds crazy in context. <laughs> but yeah, it, it, yeah, no, it is. It is, it is very like breezy because I've been like on the fence. I've been like, oh, for the art, for the art. But at the same time, I'm like, but it's a slur. Yesterday, yeah, I was watching a movie called The Departed. It has like literally all the stars in it. It has um, Jack Nicholson, mm. Leonardo DiCaprio, a, a bunch of like all these like white male. And the first line of the movie, or first few lines, mm. is Jack Nicholson saying the N word. Like just dropping it, bam, yeah. bam. But it's in the context of the film and mm. the character that he's playing is this um, kind of like brash Irish man. Okay. I think it's Irish or Italian, one of them. Italian um, American? Irish American? I think it's Irish American. But yeah, he was talking about how like all oh, the blacks and um, they kind of work for what, um, to get what they want. And he just kept dropping the N word. Mm. And I was just there like, mm. I don't like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not here thinking, 
oh, Jack Nicholson is a racist and mm. he's a bigot for using that word because I know that in the context of the film, that's the character he's playing. But that's a character. So you can kind of be like, I see what's happening here. Mm. And I, I guess maybe this is a weird segue, but similar to for Black Boys, you know, when we went to see it, I think there are a lot of words that they kept using. Even the N-word, when they're dropping it a few times. Like, and the way they said it with such emphasis sometimes made me even feel uncomfortable. Mm. I think that's the nature of the art. <clears throat> so, so if that's the case, are we using that same stick to measure music where it's like, okay, we can allow it because it's in the context of the music and it's a particular situation. Because let's be real, him saying that, and even if, if he's referring it to his childhood and saying, I used to say these words, mm. that's a real situation that's happened and probably still happens today in other people's lives. Mm. So are we going to be like, okay, cool, if that's the case, then we can allow it because it's in the music. Because obviously mm. musicians get judged a bit differently to other artists because they don't consider them as characters. Consider musicians as, as more people. like commentators mm. right, of your right. culture. Mm. You know. Yeah, I think I think it's, it's, it's a good question. I mean, I feel like sometimes people won't get it if they don't hear it. Like for black boys to hear that shows you how peak it is. I feel like sometimes when you yeah. don't go to the depths of it, people can't really get the healing. If that makes sense, when you go around the you surface and it's like you want to do like the nicest way, the possible. nicest way possible. I, like for me I don't like swearing I don't even want to even use the N word to be honest mm. in songs I'd rather it just be clean music but that's how they speak in it yeah. that's their way of it, communicating so for me cool. I'd rather the song had no swearing in it yeah. for yeah. example but I understand that's that's his culture that's how he's growing up that's really the only way he knows how to communicate at the moment <laughs> so but actually like if you've been speaking like that your whole the life man has a pull surprise <laughs> he's like nah he just don't, <laughs> no, you but, don't have enough words man legit I used to swear all the time but I don't swear anymore because of, of, of Trace right yeah, mm. yeah. And the same way look he hasn't made that Trace so cool that's how he's going to communicate <laughs> do you get me <laughs> yeah. and some I can say this I can say that but at the end of the day people communicate differently yeah mm. I think one thing this um, album has made me realise is that actually nah all of us have to learn from each other. Yeah. Like, I think with Auntie Diaries, I think there was a part where he said um, he had to choose human- humanity over religion. Oh, that line, yeah. And That line kind of hit me, I can't lie. Yeah. That, that, that was a, that, that yeah. whole, a tear-eyed yeah. moment. That whole oh, church. That Mr. Preacher Man, should, that, yep. should we love yeah. thy neighbour? And then he, yeah. Yeah, yeah. and, and I, feel, I feel like that, that, that song for me brings a, a very interesting conversation to the wider church community. Um, yeah. And yeah, I think it's it's tough. I think there's a lot of conversations around it and I feel like he... I think what this album did, he opened up conversations. Yeah. Mm. He can now go and disappear for another five years yeah, and, oh, he's, and just leave you with... I can't people like... People will this, still be... If this was the last album, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. People can literally continue having these conversations. Yeah. Mm. Do you know what I mean? And that's what music... Music is art. I remember there was a quote saying that... Um, art reflects the sort of current climate of society yeah yeah. yeah. so in about 10 years time from now we'll realise that oh wait that's how it used to be back in those days if, if things have changed yeah. do you know what I mean so it's like yeah I think the way he's done it is like in 10 years time we'll see the dividends of how mm. important what he was saying was yeah. do you know what I mean yeah mm. you're right he touches on something that's a bit scary that whole cancel culture thing because like I always have this worry that because we're getting so overly overly politically so, okay. correct mm. that it will all blow up and then people and, just right. go mad. People go mad. And I think we started to see little, like, um, streams of it online where people have, like, group chats. Even, or, or, like, even Piers you know, Morgan. Yeah. I've, you know I don't what I'm know saying? if I seen that he had what, adverts. New, yeah, he had new... adverts all over. Bro, I was seeing that all over my area on buses, Bruv, ads. He, I was in Brighton, bro. I might see him in Brighton. Like, he's everywhere. Yeah. Like, from, like, he's, ev- and um, Piers is one of those people that, he has those opinions that yeah, mm, yeah. will really like he has his own show. Yeah. Um and it's like he talks where he says whatever. Whatever, yeah, it's whatever. Because like, yeah. It's getting so yeah, people are frustrated yeah. where they're like, no, forget this political I'm gonna do my own thing. Yeah. People that wanna believe what I believe, they'll believe me, mm. they'll follow me. I don't really care anymore. Yeah. And that yeah, that can be very dangerous. Like literally, I think that's one of the massive takeaways from this like project. Mm. I think seeing the like conversations happening. Especially like with the Auntie Diaries um, song in particular, and then I think Kodak Black as well. Mm-hmm. I was just like, wow, there's just like a lot of mm. feelings there's out a lot here of about feelings, a lot yes. of things. And especially when these things like trigger an emotional response, I think mm-hmm. with Auntie Diaries, for me, I think if you, for the people that you're trying to um, 
do this for mm-hmm. if it's affecting them then part of me is like okay maybe it's best not to do something that will incite maybe like inflict some form of like I don't, sounds dramatic but like violence in it mm-hmm, mm-hmm. on them in order to get a message out but at yeah. the same time in its fullest context that you were trying to give it in i think all of that for me when i first listened to it it really had me thinking like wow like especially that was how you thought as a child yeah and even like the use of like pronouns and the mixing of pronouns yeah until the end where you know he spoke about his cousin and other people i was like this is you took us on a journey of how you literally had to unlearn like homophobia transphobia and like through your family you were able to love and then even took it to the degree of trying to defend your family as well yeah Mm. um but yeah it definitely gets me thinking about future things and other conversations that people may want to have with their art but Mm. knowing not knowing maybe the way to go about it again i feel like kendrick was probably the one the only rappers that could maybe do that and get away with it definitely the only one right now at the moment and i feel like maybe again playing to like your cultural capital i'm not saying it's a it's not kind of could do the same mm, i don't think it would be received the same no, um, not not the exact same body. As in, like, he can he touches on those themes already. To be yeah, honest. and I think like from back Does in the he? day, no, no, from he back does. in the day, he was like, I think he was defending like gay people like ages ago. Kanye, Kanye maybe, Kanye, he, yeah, like, but like, like he's right. not out here making songs about he, he's it. Not, yeah. but, like, that's not his season right now. Like, he, he really did do that <laughs> like, from like college dropout days. Like yeah. he was, like, like, he's been one of them stuff. But cultural commentary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think because yeah, I'm always thinking about the art because I always wonder like. As an artist, Mm -hmm. how do you balance, like, trying to create certain things that will, like we said, incite conversation Mm. and trying to do it to its, you know, rawest, truest form? But then, because, what am I trying to say? Because I always worry about, like, how people receive or what people receive from what you've made and then Mm. what you've actually intended Intended for for them to get from it. Yeah. So I'm always trying to think, like, how do you manage that, but without trying to then, like, pander too much to your audience? I don't think he manages it. <laughs> mm. And that's the, that's the beauty, because he literally just gave his opinion yeah. and yeah. his perspective and left everything. Like, yeah. I think that's why he's a, he can do this. Mm. A lot of other rappers, and that's why maybe people didn't like the heart, because it felt like he was talking about people's realities and lifestyle and choices. Mm. As opposed to saying, this is who I am and this is what I yeah. did. And I feel like this is the only album in a long time that has actually taken the time to be like, this is who I am. This is what I did. This is I the agree. words I used to say. This, this is the, the life I've chosen to live. Mm. And he, here I am. But technically, he kind of did do that in the heart part five. He said, I am all of them. Yeah, but come on, man. What do you mean you're all of them? But, no, but it, it does make sense because he's basically... No, it makes sense, but it's not. it's not... He's not, not, he's not, he's not personal, giving his, his personal yeah, stuff. I, no, I, I get saying, you. Yeah. So, I feel like it almost watered the ground for the album. No, he did. No, you I mean? no you're right. In, yeah, the, in, yeah. in that particular context, it makes sense. I'm just saying, like, perhaps the reason why people didn't feel as... Because in the, in the context of the album, yeah, yeah. now everything is like, oh, I get yeah, it. Man, it's it's yeah, like man. it was getting ready. Blah, blah, blah. But mm. alone, when it came out, people just felt like, okay, wait, why are you saying you're all of us? You're not. Like, mm. it felt like, oh, here we go. Another preachy album. Ma- making a statement. Yeah, what do you mean you're all of us? And he's going to end up talking about, like, Situations about other mm. people, but never really talking about himself. So, yeah, you know, and we all we get we don't get me wrong, we get glimpses of that in his past album, like you when he's screaming ah, like that mm. song is mad personal. Even Good Kid, Mad City, like Good Kid, Mad City, yeah, sing, sing about me, yeah, like that song he's oh, singing about. You me, know what I'm saying? Like that last verse when he's talking about like just all the conversations and the perspective mm-hmm. that he talks about. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Beautiful, top notch. Mm. So he does that a few times, but I think this is the only album where it's almost like so so vulnerable that it's uncomfortable yeah it's very uncomfortable my guy really spoke about his infidelity multiple times like that made me feel uncomfortable it made me feel bad for him made me feel very bad for his fiance like it just but 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 i guess that's the point it's kind of like he's involved in the project so you know i'm sure they've you know sad though man it's sad yeah but again i guess the whole not everybody's perfect that's 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 the that's the human nature unfortunately yeah Mm. Jay Z does this really well on four 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 actually. Oh, now that I think about it, he he did a similar thing, but unfortunately his one was after the infidelity, but so again, maybe was, that's why it w- didn't hit, hit as much. But it was, I feel like, uh I get annoyed because I feel like 
that wasn't appreciated. Or oh, definitely Four for Four Lemonade and then Everything Is Love is like a trilogy. That whole three, yeah, yeah, three part story. Yeah, it was really one love story yeah. of... And Jay-Z talks about his mum being gay. Yeah, yeah. On the, yeah. On, like a whole yeah. song. Yeah, yeah, yeah she does. That. And it's, it's, it's... I think... Funny enough, Jay-Z is one of Kendrick's um, idols. Yep. I feel well. like maybe Jay-Z tackled those kind of topics better than Kendrick. Yeah. But well, I think that's... that's there's the, a sense of maturity, though, I think, yeah. he handled yeah. it with. He's in the game for sure. Kendrick's is a bit more like... Yeah. Bit raw. Free and raw and reckless. Yeah, if, it feels... not. I don't, not reckless, I don't want to use the word childish, but it feels mm, very infantile. Mm, like yes, yes. Everything, all my emotions yeah. at a therapy session. Mm. Yeah, blah, Take it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Mm. But that that made me think of this question, though. So if if after all this, and Kendrick is saying, I'm not your savior, da, 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 does that make it, I guess, <laughs> apparent that art can't save the world? And we Ooh. should perhaps not even stop trying, but that should never be the goal because we'll always be disappointed. Because that's kind of what Kendrick... Yeah, I, I can't save the world. I uh, I, di- I I disagree. Uh, wait, when, uh, okay. Can I ask what, a question? What, before, what, you, before you... Right. What is saving the world? That's thank you because yeah. that's what I was yeah. going to get at. Cause well, saving the world is uh, perhaps having it look that's, like... That's a very grand like... You, okay, if you go on Twitter right now, basically uh-huh. it's making sure that everybody on Twitter is happy. That's saving the world. That's not possible. No. That's my point. It's impossible. <laughs> it's impossible. <laughs> Yeah, like there's, there's, <laughs> you can't. Sorry, you can't. Imagine, imagine Twitter not being happy. It or it not save, scary. It might save someone. Yeah. yeah, but it won't save the world. Let me put it like that. It will, it will save someone, but not but the world. But for some people, I guess some people define that as their version of saving the world. Like, the world. let's be real. If you look at superheroes, <laughs> apart from like when the Avengers have their like big moment, where they have people to, like, are dying in those someone. buildings when the buildings, oh, when the is smashing. Yeah, people when are dying like. Like, dashing think, cars. Think, yeah, of like, <laughs> think of like an Iron Man car. like standalone film. Yeah. My guy's not really like saving the world. He's, he's not just saving, saving the, the city. I mean, saving he's America. saving the world. America is the world, right? So no, like, New York. New York is sorry. Not, yeah, New York know, is the world. I mean, America's big. So like, okay, not saving the world. And then maybe when you have a, a whole like universe level threat, that's when you can say you're saving the world. But like yeah. for some people, art can you know it's like a it's a domino effect. It's like okay, this piece can touch one person who that can then touch another person which then that can touch another person and mm. i think when you think about it that way art can possibly save the world because you know if we say like art is not only for th- people to enjoy but you know you kind of share the times you you know there's messages that you can like put in the work itself if that's able to impact one person then that has a you know rebound effect on a lot of other people too like yeah it's all you know when people make these like oh um, if you could go back in time and change something, what would yeah, you yeah, do? Yeah. And I, re- I just remembered that whole "If I Was Your Mother" poem that um, that that woman from Nine Hundred Two One Hundred did for huh? Putin. Yeah. Um, basically, Can you recite it for us. No, oh. <laughs> but <laughs> something along the lines of "If I Was Your Mother, I would have loved you. I would have oh, cared for okay. you." Oh, okay. Oh, for Putin. Yeah. Wait, so, for what? <laughs> yeah, for so Putin, again, some people Putin. thought some people think that way because <laughs> they're thinking their art can influence and change opinions and stuff. Well, well, like but Vladimir is there, like wow, you it, touch that, my it's heart. a very silly thing to do, but she, it's not the first time she's done it as well. Okay. But um, <laughs> but oh, I, I I do think that if we think about art that's impacted our lives mm-hmm. and the trajectories it's led us on, mm-hmm. then I do believe that art can change the world because it things that have influenced us you know, will influence what we make and what we make will influence other people to do their own thing or to... But then we could argue now that art has also made the world even a, wor- a worse place. 100%. Yeah. But that's what you I'm know. saying. So changing and saving are different things. Mm. Mm. So definitely anything can change anything. Saving saving can only be seen in a positive light. Yeah. So I'm saying like, can art actually like... Well, okay. Can art help the world in a positive way? It, uh, it can, yes, it can help, but it can never save. Only Jesus says. Oh. <laughs> you gave, you, gave, you sure. gave me a segue. Bro. Are, you, are you sure it's not Pfizer? <laughs> <laughs> Pfizer can save, you know. You don't know. Guy, fam. No, okay, fair yeah. enough. Because I think that's what I was, when I listened to the album, I kept battling with that that whole idea mm. of like, is there any point to trying to make art anything other than just art? Because mm. sometimes, you know how yeah, we overthink yeah. art and I agree. we... we Place importance on ourselves mm-hmm, and think mm-hmm. this is the thing that's gonna make people feel. And this, all of us do that, you know. And yes, this, and this is part, actually mad. I felt so bad. Yeah. I listened to it, I was like, damn. And that's, just, and that's part should... of the problem. Yeah, yeah, like I think we put too much of ourselves, or like we put this greater sense of self. Yeah, yeah. and then when it doesn't get received, it's like yeah, self importance. Like we, and we, like, exactly, we center ourselves because of and, yeah. the work that you're making, and then you now become a figure. This is a matter question. Yeah, do you think art is like humility? 
Mm. I wouldn't say humility, but I think a lot of self awareness is is lacking. It's gone. Because a lot of people aren't self. Okay, maybe maybe is this music two... artists or artists in general? Artists in general. I feel like maybe it's a double edged sword. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes when you're too self aware, then you lack confidence yeah, to yeah. do the art. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But when you're when you're con- when you're self aware to the point where you are self aware, mm-hmm. then maybe you think you are the middle of you. You are the thing that yeah. makes things run. So yeah. almost like you think I'm the only person who exists, and if I don't right. do this work right now, Everyone's someone's gonna, gonna die or yeah. someone's gonna do this. It's like, but is that a bad thing? So is it bad to think that if you don't do something? Because I remember, like, back in... Oh, it's a bit of a double edged sword, actually. Ah, here we go. Uh, like, in church. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> like, I remember, like, we used to say... But, like, the perspective was came from a genuine place that mm. God has put something inside each and every one of us. Right, right. So we need to release it in order to... Because it's part of... um. There's also a book I read. Uh, oh, I can't even remember the name. But I think it might be called cool To Create. It's a good book by oh, Jordan, yeah, yeah. Jordan Rainer. Rain- Rain- he yeah. says that like when you make something, when you create something, yeah, it serves two purposes: like to honor God. It well, if you're Christian, to honor God, but to honor people, mm-hmm. and with anything that you do. So even if it's something for fun, it may please that person, and maybe that's your act of service to them. Mm-hmm. But ideally, because you're doing what innately what comes naturally to you, because that's how you've been designed, then yeah. you should do that. And then there comes a the thing of if you don't do that thing, maybe somebody else is going to miss out on something but then yeah. because it in a in a perfect world i would like to think that we were all supposed to like work together in order to like help one another so like your farmers would help the community and then the people who are like the doctors will yeah, help your community the everything perfect example what's this film encanto I've never, on disney oh yeah, mad. I, I, don't know I don't know if you guys have watched it but it's like um based on a family family that have powers and then there's one daughter um that doesn't have a, a oh, no, no. Power. no no that's actually like <laughs> the that's general plot there. <laughs> but like in the film their powers are there to wow. serve the community ah, so see, like you I have see, people that control the weather so things can grow you have yeah. somebody who can lift something really yeah, heavy. But that's a cartoon man. it's a cartoon but it's I'd like to think that that was the way life should have gone before, like capitalism and greed and all manners of stuff. Because yeah, now it's now it's a bit mad. But mm. I think it's it's a it's a hard one because yes, if you don't make something, think yeah. again, think of our influences. If those influences didn't occur, we would not have gone down certain paths. Sure, sure. Yeah, but how so, how are we so but, sure? We we can't just assume that just because it's like yeah. we're we're put in a, a a situation where it's like oh yeah, if let's say okay. Example, if Kendrick Lamar didn't make this album, then, mm. like, for example, me, I feel like there's a lot of songs that have actually actively changed my life. Right. But how am I so sure that, that my that life would wouldn't have changed right. if, if I, I it probably would have done the same thing if I didn't hear that song. Mm. But I'm attributing it to it because of, like, I guess, correlation. Mm. And saying, think, oh, because I, I was in London at 2 p.m., <laughs> that's why I got the job. No, but I think thing. there are nuances in life where if you're not there at that particular time, if you don't hear something at that particular time, it won't happen in that way. Yeah, if that makes sense. Oh, you, you, you so might, sure? No, you are sure. How? You can't, okay, for example. Yeah, uh, give me an example. Um, what kind of example can I even use? Um, okay, for example, if I didn't go to a certain university, yeah, I would not have met the love of your life. I, yeah, the person I'm with now, the love of your life, yeah. love of my life. Yeah, if I didn't go to that uni, how are you so then, sure? Exactly, like, you're gonna say how am I so sure? Yeah. But as in, like, I wouldn't have met her in that way, and. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? It would have been yeah. maybe three years later. And yeah. do you know what I mean? Like things would have ch- I would have changed. Both of, do them, you know what I mean? both of them could have been in different relationships, then come together. Yeah, yeah but but you know, but it's again, still, it's how still... are you so sure? You could have met the same way. <laughs> no, there is the reason why I'm saying that you probably could yeah. have met the same place mm-hmm. at the same time. Yeah. In a different situation, but at this, like it'd be the same circumstance to get you exactly where you are. If we're, if okay, if I'm just I'm gonna nerd out for a second. If we're talking about probability, yeah, yeah in the world, yeah. there's a probability that you could have done the same thing without going through the same process, just based on probability it's alone. It's possible, yeah, but it's still a very it's very un, it's not unlikely, but, yeah, but, but it, as in like it's possible, yeah, it's possible. A lot of things that if okay, for example, if us never met, we would you have done the podcast? Thank you. I hear what you're saying, but the reason why I'm saying that is going back to the question of like the whole like. I guess the Kendrick thing is him yeah. saying, okay, after after me saying, uh, we can save the world, we can save the world, we're going to be all right, all of this. Yeah, yeah. I have come to the conclusion <laughs> that we actually can't. And there's, like all of this is futile. Like I, He said at the end, I, I chose myself 
Like, <laughs> I, I realised I can't save y'all. <laughs> like, I need to save my family. Like, I, I'm building back my... Like, you know what I'm saying, yeah? So, perhaps... <laughs> that is funny. So, perhaps... Oh, I, you know what? The, the funny thing is that Kendrick has gone <laughs> to the point where, obviously, he's got his millions, he's got his awards, Pulitzer Prize, whatever. So, he doesn't even need he anything. Said, I'm rich. I don't yeah, care about like, Charlie like, anymore. Peace out. Do you get what I'm saying? <laughs> so he's like, you know how it, um, there was an interview with Ken, um, I choose me. I'm sorry, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> there was a there was a conversation with um, Kanye where he was like, oh, he just used he used um, Talib Kweli and them man uh, just to get to where he is. God. So perhaps maybe <laughs> us artists, maybe we should take that same approach, yeah, <laughs> and just use people nah, to man. to get the art like further up. But that's what and make our millions. I mean, that's oh, nah, nah, nah. What do you mean, nah? This is what the, our nah. the, our greats are doing. Look at look at Rihanna fam. She's a billionaire. You think that she's here thinking, oh, I really wonder what's going on in these young people, my fans' life. Nah. She's thinking about her and her family now. I'm trying to, I'm trying Beyonce to figure, is the same thing. I'm trying to figure out what song I was listening to the other day. Someone basically said in their song. Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm trying to figure out what song it was. Hmm. No, it was Drake. Of course it was uh, Drake. <laughs> it was Drake in Churchill um, Downs with um, Jack Harlow. Oh, him, yeah. And <laughs> Drake said like, like I'm getting so rich that like, I can't even re- like. What? Let me see if I can find the lyric. I can't relate. Yeah, something like that. Mm. Let me see if I can find the lyric. And these are idols. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's the thing again. Like, oh my, are days. they are they are uh, our idols? They're not man. We have idols. <laughs> They're like, not man, boy. Because well, we. This this is what I'm saying. Like I'm I'm struggling to because you know musicians are easily they're more accessible than let's say actual fine artists and photographers. Yeah, yeah. Like Sagmeister. Um, Will just vanish, and then drop something and just vanish. Yeah. He doesn't care about us. He's he cares about the art, his art alone. My guy even like quit his. My guy's just really doing. Oh, they so really... this is what I'm saying. Like as artists, should we care that much about the? I guess the pros, not the process, but like how how ooh, the impact and how we're gonna how it's gonna be. I, 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 people people are gonna follow. I feel like it comes to your ethics though. Yeah. If you're willing to use people and to like, but who has it worked for? Huh? <laughs> who has it worked for? That. But then again, what 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 is it? What are we doing it for? And what's the goal? Because if your goal is like, mm. you want to be like a billionaire, you're gonna have to be a bit unethical, babes. You know, you you're gonna this, have to. This was Drake's line. Yeah, he said, "I'm getting so rich, my music's not even relatable." I hear that. That's very true. <laughs> that is very very true. When you want to be talking about your popping champagne yeah, every day yeah, because you can. The champagne is too expensive. I can't afford. Oh, I have yeah. another. Que- I have a question, but like, I'll save that for later. But um, yeah, like, if you want to live a comfortable life, I feel like you possibly could. Some people, when they talk about like giving back to their hood, when they're successful, they actually stay in the area. But we've seen what happened to like Nipsey Hussle and stuff. So it's like it's <laughs> how how does one really so go about it in a way that is it's hard. It's very very and, hard. And I think even he, he addressed it. He addressed it on on, on the, heart, the heart part five. where he was like, "Fam, he could have left." Yeah, he could have left. He could have left mm. and he would have been fine. But he decided to stay and look what happens. Yeah. So what I'm saying, like as an artist, should we really be thinking about the less fortunate and so on and so forth? Oh, on, should man. we of really course, of should we really care about the, course, other, the, the okay, everyday so man and who, woman? Who, who are we doing it for then? Myself? Okay. Nah, nah, nah. nah. No, because I'm saying no. I'm I'm just speaking like in <laughs> but <laughs> These just, are not the real thoughts. Nah, these are not my real thoughts, here. but I'm just yeah. saying like that that just seems like a a, a, a more well, a, a, a more stress free life in comparison to having to wake up and think wow how is my work going to change a life today and how 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 do How's I add mm. how do I add to this this ever growing culture and how do I like even this podcast <laughs> is literally there for people who may not be um, having access to even a conversation because mm. a lot of people might might be in a situation where Sorry, you know what I'm saying all their friends are in law or business mm. or accountants or whatever and they don't even have people to have conversations or even say hold on what am i think what i'm thinking about does it make sense this is why we do the podcast now imagine yeah we just say you know bun everybody we're taking all our ideas and all our inspirations and all our reference points and all we just carry it all and <laughs> put it on our back and then we're like skedaddle you know gosh like surely we would have like i can't lie we'd definitely benefit more of course we would yeah. but again yeah, she would. <laughs> you no, know what no, I'm saying? But, uh, again, it comes not, down it's to not about that. Nah. What is it all about? Yeah. No, nah, Michael, you're not deep in it. We're here inspiring someone and that person might end up being the next Kanye West. And we're here. Thank God. <laughs> what do you mean, thank God? <laughs> what do you... 
That's yeah. life. That's life, though. I like. I like. I like, like, I like for people to get better. Like, you know, we had a conversation about this off like the pod where we were talking mm. about like our children and how we want them to be to like sit on our shoulders yeah. and not have to like think about how yeah, but those are our children. Will, yeah, but like, chop the money. <laughs> <laughs> but like, it's the same kind of thing, right? Like, but obviously like, with our like, kids. Come on, man. No, I hear, mean, I hear it. Yeah. I hear it. Obviously, there are kids, so we're gonna put a lot of. There are, that's our flesh and blood. Yeah. With and so you don't have that same um, sense of loyalty, I guess, for anybody. But again, like, why not? This is I'm putting line. out that why not? Not funny, but it's interesting line based on our conversation. Yeah. But in the heart part five, the, the Nipsey Hustle bit mm. says, um, "Look for salvation when trouble gets real, because you can't help the world until you help yourself. And I can't blame the hood that day I was killed." I had to see it. That's the only way I, way to feel. And though my physical won't reap the benefits, the energy that carry on emits still, I want you. I had a question as well. A lot of these people, Kendrick says it in the album, a lot of like wealthy people talk about it and then they like switch to minimalism, even though I kind of feel like <laughs> if you tell me to switch to mis- minimalism, you need to close your mouth because me too, I want to enjoy the excess before I make that decision. Um, <laughs> but... <laughs> When you, for a lot of people, they say when you get to a certain point, yeah, you don't like you think, oh, this will solve my problems. So or when it's not solving certain deep rooted problems, then you start to find. Then you think, ah, oh, why am I doing all of this? What's it all for? What's the meaning of life? Yeah, why am I so unhappy? Even though my my you know my crib is nice, my car is great, I have you know this beautiful partner on my side, like living the life, lavish lifestyle, <laughs> and all that good stuff. But then oh, you go home, that, but in your big house you're crying. But then again, some people would rather want to cry in a Bentley or you know. Oh yeah, that, like, like I'm not trying to I cry in a d- one bedroom house. <laughs> <laughs> I, that's bad toxic. I can't have a lie. What the crying in the Bentley thing is bad toxic. It is, but it's kind of lit. <laughs> it's kind of hard. Though. Come on, you know you know that's kind of hard. It's ho- that is not. Oh. I was, I was, it's not. I it's was not crying lit. in the Bentley. Why are you crying in the Bentley? Well, it's better than crying in the shower. I will cry in the shower. Where my tears away? <laughs> 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 no, but yeah, I, I, I just think that it's quite interesting how. Um... <laughs> <laughs> you can't say that. No, because I'm just thinking about it. Yeah. It's like sometimes, especially after this album, I was listening to. It, I was like, bro, even Kendrick doesn't care about us anymore. <laughs> like they're mm. all leaving us. Like all like Andre's vanished. Andre 2000 is vanished. Is that is Kanye that, even vanished? Kanye, who is talking a lot, is even vanished. No, but the thing is, that's what the culture does to people, though, man. When, like, fam, but why, why are, are they going? Is it because they feel like their time's coming to an end? No, I think artists or... in general don't. I think, then I'm saying, like, musicians are much more um, vocal about what they go through. And mm. most of the time, it tends to inspire their work very, very directly. Photographers, filmmakers, designers, we don't we don't know anything about their real life. Let's be real. Like yeah. most of the things we know is their portfolio and who they've worked for. True. That's about it. And we we probably don't need to, depending on the photographers or the designers or artists, we don't need to know too much about their personal life to be, to understand their work. Understand the work. Yeah. yeah. And this is what I'm saying. Whereas I think I think maybe musicians are realizing that now that maybe perhaps we don't have to be overly visible, but they only realize that when they've made millions. You can only do that when you make millions. That's the thing. No, no. Okay. Wh- actually, I tell a lie. Not all of them have. Not all of them have. Someone like, okay, even though he did make millions, but like Yasin Bey, formerly known as Mos Def, mm. he just vanished. A lot of people just vanish. Dave Chappelle at one point just vanished. But the like, thing is, uh, yeah. I, I get it though, because think about it this way, you're, you're, you're a celebrity. Your mm. personal life is gone at, at a certain point. You leave your yard and ch- 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 paparazzi. It depends, <laughs> yeah, it depends on what kind of celebrity so you I mean, are right. as well. Yeah, I feel like right. for them, they actually need to for mental well-being. If you don't disappear, yeah. like if it, it appears apparent that Kendrick, his time out has ma- made him deep a lot of things. Like life is important. Yeah, that's why he's been able to. Children. Do you know what I mean? That's why he's probably patterned up a bit more. Mm. Um, is actually he's refocused. And like even earlier, when we were talking about like um, tipping pop out a fly and like this album. And I feel like people in general we have different. Some like a, two years ago, I, I was passionate about something. Mm. Now I'm passionate about it. Like last was it 2021 mm. when true, George um George Floyd and stuff. Mm-hmm. Like I was that like, Black Lives Matter. I was very angry and annoyed, and that's probably the only conversations I was really having. Mm. Now I'm talking about other stuff. Yeah, it's just how life is. I feel like people, like it's hard to like almost like put him in a box and make him be like he's this. a human being. Yeah, 
he's going to speak about different things. He don't yeah. always speak about like I can't lie. I want, I'm always trying to hear another Black Black Lives um, my album from him. Oh, from him. Okay. Do you know what I mean? Like I'm I'm tired of oppression, bro. <laughs> like yeah, I'm, t- I'm yeah. tired of this but, fighting but that, that, and fighting that's and only, fighting. That's only happened because we've got we've heard it so we've long. Got to a yeah. point where that's you know. But in people that are disappointed that he didn't release another one like that. I said, like, come on. Wait, man. what? Everybody, no, no. everyone's trying to get him to not release anything <laughs> like that. Fam, no one wanted to hear anything about it. They wanted bops, yeah, especially yeah, yeah. after hearing "Damn." Everybody yeah, yeah. wanted bops. Yeah, yeah, yeah everyone yeah. just wanted to dance. <laughs> I feel like no, but I feel like after that album, I didn't want no silly, silly songs anymore. That's why a lot of people don't even like to pimp a butterfly because there's not the a lot of silly place. songs. No, because it's, it's just too... it's like Obi, like, for example. Obi's not trying like we've had conversations. Shout out to Obi. <laughs> <laughs> Where is that? I'm not. I'm not trying to like hear a lot of this because I just want to, you know, just vibe live, and enjoy. Man, it. enjoy. It. Yeah, I hear, I hear but again, that. Again, time, that. time and a place. I think time and a place. Yeah, yeah. Because I, I still go back to to pimp a butterfly to of listen course. to like them. King Quinta Sometimes I'd be like, actually, I want to hear. I got a bone to pick. Just to bounce. Mm-mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And sometimes good politics. Like a lot of songs. You know oh, what? Yeah, I, I, I definitely hear it. I definitely <sighs> hear it. But there I is a time and a place. What they do. Yeah. Nah. Time and place. What was your like? What's your like bop like from this album? Like, what's one that you like when you, you have to step it on immediately? Man is even it's not a bop, but Father Time I think for me is one of my favorite songs. Maybe because I, 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 I can, I can like, yeah. Oh yeah, Sanford, yeah. Oh, Sanford is voice, yeah. Yeah, I'm back. Yeah, what where happened, is he? Is, is he from Brixton? He's from London. That's, that's what you're asking. Him as a comeback. Where oh, is he? Come back. Come back to the end, Brixton. Come back to the end, bro. Find you in Brixton. I'm back to probably living it up in the sun in LA. <laughs> but his voice is actually perfect for that song, though. Yeah, yeah. I feel like artists really know when to put it, bring him in. Like any song that he's on, he I feel like he's selective as well. I don't think he picks up everybody's songs. Yeah, you're right. Because like, a lot of people I can imagine want, him. want to he's, work with yeah, him. Yeah, it's Sanfa. Man. Imagine that, just like everybody and wants to work see, with him. See, I love Sanfa. Mm. No one knows anything about that guy. <laughs> no, but that, yeah. I, I don't know. <laughs> no, 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 no. Bro. Okay, okay. No what do you want to do about Sanfa? Okay, no, 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 no. I was gonna say, do you, is it Huh. Would you rather want to be like admired by like your peers in the industry? I don't care about any of them. Even <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. But like, if you think of someone like Sampha, yeah, I think when a lot of industry people talk about Sampha, yeah, it's a lot of respect. there's a lot of respect yeah. and like revere for him. But yeah, then, yeah. Sampha, if you compare like his let's say commercial success to other artists' commercial success, different. I still feel like he's making wrecks though. He's a songwriter, isn't he? Yeah, and a so. producer. Yeah, definitely is. Yeah. So he's definitely and plus, and plus, I think we're 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 getting caught up in the vacuum of black music as as it pertains to hip hop and R and B. Forgetting about yeah, he's, he's won world. like um BBC like award. I um, can't remember the album award that they had. Yeah, the Mercury. I think Mercury, Mercury, Mercury Prize. Prize. Yeah, yeah. I think so. yeah. There's there's a lot of spaces like pop world. There is the electronic world. So many different parts. That there's success here yeah, is like let's say for a man to be content in terms of money and live. And not worry about looking in his, ba- in his bank account. It's a few million, and you don't need to look in your bank account if you if you if you're living mm. on the like I don't know. Um, you bought your mansion, let's say I don't know, um, two hundred k, three hundred k, four hundred k. Like you don't need to worry about these kind of things. So maybe perhaps there's some people who just know what they need, as mm. opposed to what they want, which is the extra. And they're just kind of like you know what I've got a house, I've got my wife. My like children kind of in, in life is a lot of simple things, and once yeah. you once you got it, you pretty much. So maybe just... I feel like maybe that that's that's what makes an artist so. Yeah, like fam, hundred eighty thousand is walking in New York, just blowing his flute. That's. <laughs> do, do you know how do you know how hard do you know how cool that is? I really just. That's a flute. I'm so envious of that. And I like, don't get me wrong. Obviously, he's going through his own thing with having difficulty trying to understand where he fits in everything because he he's such a like he went from all the success to just whoom, mm. just vanish. So I get that maybe he's going through personal, but like, imagine that. Being able to just go, like he's walking down the street, no one is chasing him with paparazzi because it's just, it's Andre. You can go and take a picture and stuff, but like, it's not like Kanye level where he's walking down the street and it's like, people like, Sam, no, easy, bro. Even even Kanye, I brought um, off of Jesus King. I'd rather see him in um, LAX airport. Just chilling. <laughs> trying to catch a flight. And people just like, oh, wow, it's Kanye. Um, that guy acts like he's not a billionaire. You know? it's, Sometimes it's a bit scary. It's weird though. Like you, you would think if someone was a billionaire, like their last orders would be mad different, but it's not. I'll, I'll tell you when I find out. In it. <laughs> I'll, just, I'll tell you when but I find is, out. Is that? So, I don't know. You said it, but someone said Kanye like a billionaire. 
Yeah, he, I, I can't lie. Out of all the millionaires, he doesn't really billion, sorry, billionaire. billionaire. <laughs> but, but again, what, what sorry, you, what, you what, got, got, no, got But what, what do you expect them? What do you expect a billionaire to act like though? Quiet. I just, I just feel like, I just feel but like is he, that because of the white man's version of the billionaire? I think, I think no. But mm. I think my thing is yeah. My thing is when you have, um, when you've gotten to a particular level where you've like passed all these little, I have to go nine to five, so on and so forth. Mm. Your lifestyle should be. Should it? No, okay, it shouldn't. But from where I where I sit, as as the person who's not a billionaire, I, 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 ain't, I ain't never seen a rich black man like a billionaire. Have you not? No, a billionaire. Oh, a billionaire. <laughs> but <laughs> no, I was like, whoa, no, no, whoa. a billionaire. Like, yeah, it was Dangote. How, how much is he making? That's, mm-hmm. And this is the thing. Apparently, there are a lot of people who pay to get off these lists and like get off. Yeah. Oh, I mean, oh it makes it. You're become a target. Yeah. So this is what I'm saying. There's, there's fam. There's bare billionaires so who nunca. we don't know. But there's some people who are like, oh, oh snap! Dangote is worth ten point four billion dollars. Do you know how much he prov- like, My guy is into what? Dangote, Dangote. He's an economy. He sells someone that's selling cement noodles. The staples are ridiculous. So why don't you? Why don't hey, you have what, what noodles you own? Not Indomie, but like he <laughs> everything, yeah. everything else. Yeah, yeah I was but like say. he's because that's Indonesian. But like he's like he sells basics, like an everyday need everyday of the needs, people. Yeah, so yeah. you will, you will have money. Yeah, but now back to your Just question about the Sanford, if if you would prefer to mm-hmm. be uh, admired by the masses or your peers. Your peers. I mean, both would be nice. No, but if you had to choose because some people don't have both. True. Um I don't know. I feel like I'd I'd rather my peers. Mm-hmm. Just because I'll I'll be so real. You'd rather be admired by your peers. Yeah. Like, I, I, what do you know what I'm saying? saying yeah, because the thing is, if 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 everybody loves you, but your peers don't really re- respect your team like that, it is frustrating though. Just mm-hmm. because, like, at the end of the day, yeah, like I know you want to be, people want to be like, oh, I'm doing for the people, blah blah. Like, nah. I, I, if my I, thing I, is respected by people who who know what it is, that's all. Like, I, like I don't care about anything else. Maybe that's why I'm I'm a bit conflicted about. I remember you were conflicted <laughs> about about the the whole like you know. Do we actually care about how people perceive our art? Because I feel like the reason why we put so yeah, but the reason why we put so many restrictions on us on ourselves is because of the people. The reason why we can't say a few like our our true 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 intentions and our true ideas and our true like perspectives is because of people. But if we didn't care, will our art be much more poignant? I would be crazy. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, imagine you actually didn't care. If I start looking mad in the next few, next few years. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> questions. Remember your, um, what you put in the chat. Um, I saw your response, Burns, about, if you think about music today. Oh, yes, yes. And like, it being consumed like so quickly. And yeah. like, you, it, no one really listens to an album more than once and they'll just take it and That's they'll go nuts, on to the next no. thing. Like, that is crazy. If, if you <laughs> think about it that Smith. way, what would you make like right now? And I think yeah. it goes in line with like what you were asking about if we didn't care so much about the perceptions of others with our work, what would we make? But then again, when you're the success of your work, but again, do you want it's it's do you want the success of the work to work? What but, is but success uh, okay. to you with the work? Ideally, wouldn't you wouldn't you want your success to come from something that is pure from yeah, you, of course. where you're not thinking about um compromising for people's opinions and yep, so on yep. that'd be the goal mm-hmm. and I, I bet you anybody who's listening to this right now has an idea of what it looks like when they're like unadulterated unf- unfiltered raw mm. from their soul what, with my, nothing my, my team looks expensive though yeah but like okay expense aside yeah let's say you had you have what you need to do what you want to do yeah. even if you don't do it to the scale that you want to do you can start now and be like this is the idea that I have this is how raw yeah, I want it yeah. to be and the, the I guess proof of concept I guess is there mm. you know same way like I don't know Issa Rae will go and make awkward, awkward, awkward black girl and then that becomes you know right insecure mm. so like do you get what I'm saying if you can if you could be that raw and say because awkward black girl if we go and watch it back oh, yeah, a lot of parts was, of it that like, <laughs> like <laughs> do you get what I'm saying this was on it was that even a but no budget like and even 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 the content the things that you were talking about and yeah. like perspectives were my like mm, like you can understand why back mm. then it was difficult for a lot of people to take it back take it fully on but yeah. also the same reason why a lot of people took it fully on exactly because it was so like okay this is very very 
you. Mm. And and I think maybe this is what I'm starting to realize in terms of trend is that the people who tend to have a lot of success are people who do it. Yeah. And they do it like they don't they don't they don't have strategies and plans and they just do it like okay this is who I am and this is what I'm saying this is my perspective and this is my it's opinion. Passion, it's passion. I'm reading this book at the moment um, called Atomic Habits. I really mm. need to read that. And basically, a chapter I'm on right now, we're talking about like people have like when they make goals, mm. it's usually outcome based. So what it is is yeah. that okay, I want to create this amazing piece of art. Yeah. Cool. They set these things and actually they get to a point where they're actually like, ah. Oh. But actually, you should make identity based goals where it's like, I want to be like, I want this is the person I want to be. Mm. So I want to be an amazing artist. Mm. To be an amazing artist, I need to make amazing work. Right. So, <laughs> do you know what I mean? I hear that. It's such a common sense. Like, and it's that yeah. people basically, so another example they use saying, like, oh, someone was like, oh, do you want a cigarette? The guy was like, no, I'm trying to quit. And then another person said, no, I'm not a smoker. Okay. And two different examples of that is that no, I'm trying to quit. Is basically saying no. Your identity is I'm still a smoker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, but I'm not stop. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to stop. Right, right. right. Our person is no, I'm not a smoker. My identity is I used to be, yeah. but I'm mm. trying to be a new person now. Mm. So you, even if they say that you know, you don't even identify them yeah. as any kind of like you can't yeah. tempt them anymore from there. Exactly. Yeah. And, right. I, and I feel like maybe that's where we need to shift if you want to become a great artist. Actually, mm. I want to be a great artist, so I need to be doing this. As so opposed to yeah. So whether it means yeah. are reading the book a every single artist. day, or <laughs> <laughs> but some some are bad artists and they want to make great art. Thanks. It's facts. Boy. But the identity is still in the bad artist and they're trying to achieve. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's it's true. Boy. You can't be a good artist <laughs> and then be the bad artist. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? So yeah, yeah, man. It's, it's, it's like Kendrick. I can see in this thing that Kendrick says, "Look, I am a good artist." And I have to do these things in order to achieve that. So for PG Dance will be part of that as well. Yeah. Creating that, like maybe he couldn't do his best work without having that sort of organisation or that agency to like back him up and stuff. But he's had, like, don't get me wrong, this is not my favourite album from Kendrick Lamar. Oh, no, no, no. But like, he's been able to do that. He's still like a great artist. Yeah, yeah. Wherever he's gone, mm-hmm. whatever situation he's been in, I right. guess he's kind of like... I put feel like visually it looks, it looks like he's, he is him. No, it always used to be him, but I'm mm. saying like, it feels like he has more creative freedom yeah. and control with a lot of it. Things what, right think, now. Oh, yeah. He's making people millions. <laughs> <It makes Yeah. laughs> if you're yeah. making people that much money, I think they'll let you do what you want to yeah, do. That's true. very true. You don't have to spend that much money on you anymore. Yeah. You can do it yourself. Must be nice. Yeah. Must be nice indeed. Wait, oh boy. But no, I, I think I think that's, that's where I'm struggling to kind of like come to terms with. It's just the idea of being an artist who doesn't really care about people's opinion. Because mm. at the end of the day, it's it's your art. Mm. Someone yeah. can give you an opinion, but Very they can't true. do what you do. Mm-hmm. So it's like, why why should that be taken into consideration? Too like too tough, right? And that's why even going back to the Kendrick thing about him, I guess, offending people with some of his lyrics and his approaches to the art. It's like he's an artist. Art he, can, he can do art, that. Art's always gonna offend. Yeah, and like he can act, he can actively say I want to offend you mm. and do that. Like people have done that in the past where they'll literally be like, I'm gonna make a song to literally offend people. I think it gets a point now. If you don't like something, just don't just don't entertain it. Yeah, because I uh, I've been in this world too long to know that everything's I, gonna. I was dis- gonna say though, where do we draw the line? Because what line can we draw? People are gonna be mad whether nah, we like it or not. It's very true. Like it's I, art, I legit, I'm, I'm, I'm actually yeah. I'm coming to a point now. I'm like I can't control nobody. Mm. <laughs> what can I do? Yeah. And that's the scary part. That's where we're, that's, that's where everybody's heading to, the point where no one cares about anything anymore. And maybe that's when we'll get. Because look, I don't want to be that cynical person, but if you look back in the like history of art, yeah, mm. most of like the the quote unquote the best art that's true. has been from war, from mm. toil, from uh, people having trauma, depression. It's always from. It tends to be from darkness most of the time. I'm always mm. reminded of that um, that scream, not that scream on the bridge. Yeah, yeah. I haven't read the history of that, but I know that was from a mad thing. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so it's like if, if 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 it's always from like a very dark, cynical, I don't care about how you feel, this is how I feel right. type of place, then like cause let's be real. Imagine the scream was offensive to someone and now we have to change it because maybe it's too it's it's it it relates too much to people with mental health. Well, so who, now we have to, clean, we have to clean who's that. setting the rules right now? I mean popular opinion. Oh, 
I don't agree. I don't subscribe to all popular opinion. If that's the case, tweet that you love Kodak, Kodak Black. Hey, I don't know. Don't do that. I know. But I'm <laughs> yeah. saying, like, if you don't but care, it, okay, yeah. then someone could just go out and start saying random things and not well, I think face, people, like, you know, some people are saying that because they don't realise what culture is saying. I think people do that to be contrarian. I feel mm. like that happens most times. You know, for example, yeah. someone's, someone's in a silo and they just they tweet this opinion. Yeah. But in deep, actually, raw. This may have... Yeah, I, mean, I feel like people, people actually know that, and they're like, "Yeah, now, now I want like people." Because I feel like people enjoy seeing people shake and mm. like scratch their head and like, "Oh, you can't say that." So people are actually like, like, we've recently even with spaces, people go there and name the name of the space purposely just to like annoy people and trigger people. Like people just enjoy that. How would the, how will we raise our kids if this is our? <laughs> I'm actually I'm so confused. I don't know, but I, I think imagine, oh, imagine this is so it's so silly, but imagine <laughs> your kid is asking you for for food and you're arguing on clubhouse. <laughs> <laughs> like, wait, 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 wait. Listen to me, yes. <laughs> like, <laughs> nah, God. man, God reset, help us. Reset the room. Reset the room. <laughs> Can you reset the room? <laughs> oh man, Lord. <laughs> but yeah, um, what, what would you rate the album though overall? Well, I'm still taking it in, but. Why are you cheering back? <laughs> this guy's cheering. Yeah, I can give it to ASMR. Oh. Oh. Stop giving us ASMR, please. I, I need to go to that design museum thing, actually. Yeah, what, what the, the sensory one? Yeah, yeah, yeah. ASMR, yeah. yeah. But um, I'll give it a uh, 7.5 out of 10. Okay. I'd give it. You're annoying because I was going to say the same. Because before I gave it a 7, mm. but I think now the more I'm listening to it, and because I like projects, like, for me, this is like a. When I Get Home by Solange kind of album. You don't listen to it every time, but when you do listen to it, it's... Mm. Like, and and it's, it's freedom of the artist as well. And I like that because I think, again, like you've been saying, it's, yeah. you know, why should you care too much about wanting to do stuff for the commercial aspect or yeah. for others? So I'll probably give it an eight. Yeah. I'll give it a three. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Yeah. <laughs> now, I really... That's I really, your opinion, isn't it? Nah, you want to nah, give it a three? I, Nah, not not. A nah, three. it's not. It's not opinion. Actually. He's not my savior. I will save him. Give mm. him whatever you want. Nah, I don't think it's a three. I think, I don't know, you know, because I think to pay my butterfly for me, it's probably like a nine. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Damn, it's an eight. I haven't really listened to them. Element but, uh, again, the co- DNA like, in its co- in its context as well, because it's like you know how someone will rate two kind of films are 10 like a toy story someone will give a 10 out of 10 yeah. and then titanic they'll give a 10 out of them to be fair i'll probably give that like a seven <laughs> um, <laughs> so basically it's, it's subjective yeah and because the they're taste, two different kind of stuff. albums yeah i really like this album though i think it's it's the songs that i'm starting to skip just because i feel very uncomfortable listening to them what do i skip um step is I like that song. Nah, I'll skip that. Actually, yeah. I might give it. No, the, I'll give the, it a seven. The con- so, yeah. so, I, I, seven. I can't lie. Some of the context of it is a bit too wild f- for me personally. Just, I, I hear that. I hear that. Is it a bit? I like. I like well, white steppers. Like, I just we, like. I like the flow we, of we, it. We cried together, for example. Like, when I hear. When I hear that. When I hear the. You know when the beat starts yet? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> first, I was like. I, like first, I was, like, first I was like. I was like. What is happening? Like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that would be yeah. yeah. Nah, yeah. Face, yeah. I feel like yeah. There's a few songs like even for me, some of the songs like Purple Hearts, mm. like I'll skip. That I skip. Um, I skip it. I mean, I like yeah, baby. Yeah, that part is nice. Yeah, yeah baby. baby. It's, it's the baby. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that one I skip now. <laughs> um, and what's the other one called? Die Hard. I really like now. Die Hard is called man. Like I didn't like it beginning because Blast voice just sounds so flat. I I, lo- I love the song. Die Hard is called. I, that's one of my favorites I would really wish Drake was on that song I can't like mm. that would have been perfect I feel like having Drake on the whole album would kind of like defeat oh no of the course purpose of that but album. that song alone I hate as, a, as a standout Savior was no, Savior is, Savior is a great song oh. that song that song but I, that song is like great mm. but yeah like Purple Hearts and I think Mirror I keep skipping sometimes just because it feels uncomfortable right just hearing him croon I can't get you in with a nah. man who's... <laughs> just, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, I don't want to hear nah, this. I can't do this. But yeah, I, I think maybe like a six or a seven. I can't lie. Yeah. Mm. But it's, it's, a re- it's a really good album. Really good album. It's great. Like, yeah. It's definitely like an experience. Yeah. But it's not an album that you can kind of... There are a few songs you can revisit. I don't think... 
There's some, there's some albums you can literally just go and listen from top v- to bottom. Views, to bottom yeah. For me, I don't know. I don't know why. Back in the, back in the when Views came, everyone said it was rubbish. I, don't, I've, I haven't revisited Views in a long I, time. I still yeah. revisit. I just you know, feel like it's a good I actually album. listened to it like, which is mad. <laughs> for the first time fully. Yeah. Like yesterday. Yeah. And I was like, ah, oh, it's good. It's good. Some songs is it, is it, is like, it better oh. than, than Mr. Morale? Nah, man. No. <laughs> I, I can't you know what it is? Because I feel like things. when I think of the subject matter as well with Drake. Is, yeah. No one knows anything about Drake. Nope. That, but Take Care, I feel like, again, your Take Cares or your Nothing was the same. Even though I feel like he talks about the same thing again and again. I got a bit <laughs> more in those. <laughs> that one was just a bit more cultural. Yeah. 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 Another one that obviously um, came out was LMA, which I really loved. So I still haven't listened. I need to listen to that. But yeah. Obviously. Yeah. yeah. Certain man don't like the voice and that one. Don't, don't have to say that. Beautiful gowns, did it? Uh, I should do spoken word on this. No, no, no. <laughs> oh my. Why are you laughing? That, that was a genuine question. No, you well. know, because I remember when, like, Americans found out that she was British, but they found out she was British because Ooh, of the interludes. <laughs> oh, she let herself. So it was a bit <laughs> she like, exposed herself. It was a bit like, oh, like, like damn it, they like, found what's out. What's going on? Oh, and oh, I remember oh. seeing, like, discourse on it, so that's why I laughed. Yeah. That's funny. Jack Harlow thing, I wouldn't give that to you. Yeah, let's not. Jack Harlow, yeah, Jack Harlow. Let's, let's never give that one some space. Look, one time we're gonna have a, we're gonna have to have a conversation about Pharrell just being finesse, like he's been finessing so many yeah. artists. I can't yeah. believe that song. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Pharrell is nah. You know what? Pharrell is so amazing to the point where I think he that he's he's past that point of realizing if it's good or not. No, I feel like he probably knows. I feel like there's no no there's like no, way. Way. no way. I feel like, yeah. No, I feel like sometimes like you you have to step away and think, yeah, that was crap, but it is what it is. But do you think he would like Pharrell was in the studio like yeah this is the one this I, is don't, I don't think he was saying this I really is, see him I don't think him saying <laughs> this, I don't think him, he was saying this is the one I feel like he no, was just there's like, actually a video of him saying this this is the one <laughs> <laughs> there's, there's an actual video Why of him saying say yeah this that we, we yeah he was like oh you know what one this but this is the one <laughs> there's, a, there's a full clip and maybe <laughs> may, maybe that maybe his this is the you one know, is relative because I, I skipped on first listen what I skipped on first listen. I mean, did you listen to it again? No, <laughs> as, in, that? as in the first 30 seconds. Oh, you... <laughs> <laughs> I was so, I was like, what is this? It got me so of God. I beg your pardon. Nah, any, like, yeah, I don't know. I feel like, especially when I watched the Pusha T interview and he was talking about how Pharrell mm. was struggling to find the rhythm in Ooh. kind of like figuring out mm. the Pusha thing. Mm. I don't know. I feel like maybe not. He's losing it because no, mm, like, come on, it's Pharrell. I mean, he's that's a that's he's that's a, he, he works. I mean, he's a human being. He might be losing it. He is. If, yeah. we're, <laughs> if we've been talking about the whole <laughs> album, or we're talking like with Kendrick and saying like, you know what, like putting yeah. artists on a pedestal that like they're perfect. Yeah, you're People right. Are perfect. No, you're yeah. right. Yeah, just the same yes, way. You're right, you know. no, <laughs> the, same, right. the same. The same way. Yeah, Pharrell is savior. No. Yeah. Same way. Certain vocalists, their their vocals fade. Like you actually mad how you may be you may be encouraging. Like, section like that poor stuff <laughs> like oh it's for it has to be good we have to listen to yeah, it to yeah, like for it. me that like, when i saw for i was like oh it's gonna bang yeah no default so, so by I, default yeah so when i heard it i was like this is trash sorry yeah next song mm. <laughs> and think about mm. the amount of people we do that we even as designers like mm-hmm. mm. i can't mm. lie there's a lot of design work where you're like yeah, yeah. i don't know about that one chief yeah. yeah don't know about that but because they're from <laughs> certain, <laughs> like, no because they're from certain agencies yeah. you'd be like oh yeah I, I will look through the comments oh yeah so cold yeah amazing it's Incre- no it's not yeah. no you're right because i can't lie even as, as a designer sometimes you do work and you're like they say this but you let that one ring <laughs> <laughs> like, nah, it has Realist to go out. Yeah, yeah. And people, people in your comments like, this is amazing. Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. They're like, I, I know it's... Yeah, it's not It's not it. it yo. And we even support our friends when they do stuff like oh, that. You know? Sometimes we, you they'll see? do... Yeah, we'll be like, yeah, there's like that in it, but like, wow, yo, bro, you're changing the game. No. Ah! We're actually bad. <laughs> we're actually, we're, no, we're no, actually as bad. We, no, as we, we said... Human beings are really as bad. As we said... actually bad. Uh, the, you know, saving the world or changing the world... And sometimes people are changing stuff for nah, the worst. I said the worst people in the world. What is this? Yeah. No, do you realize we're actually finesses here? Because if you deep it here, I'm not. No, 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 <laughs> Burns, you're part of the problem. No, you know, you know, it is here. I always say this, and it sounds, it may sound harsh. <laughs> if your work is not good, <laughs> but it's subjective. I won't, I won't, I probably won't comment. I 
probably won't put on my story. That's very Yeah, funny. I hear that, yeah. But you try and tell me you've never put work up there that you personally didn't feel like, okay, this is top notch work. But because it's it's like, you know what, yeah, you know what? That's the bad man them. That's the that's, that's the guy then. So you know what? Let, let it you've run. You've definitely done it once. Come on, man. This is what I'm saying. <laughs> we're part of the problem, man. Because we're encu- we're encouraging medio- medio- mediocrity. But then again, if, 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 mediocrity... if, I don't put, if I don't put it out, I will never grow. Is what that, does that mean? No, but exactly. it's true. It's true. No, okay. If you look back at your work and you think, oh. Yeah. Yes, but that's when you're reflecting. I'm talking about when the per- when we are encouraging someone to keep doing the trash work <laughs> and no, they keep but, going but and they make a career out of that. So no. where, where are they going to start I don't, from? I don't encourage us work, man. Come from us telling them that it's trash, <laughs> that's no, when they start yeah, from. Yeah, that's wild, that's wild. That's wild. But anyway. No, we, we can't do that. Oh, yeah. Thanks, guys, for tuning in to today's episode of Rule of Thirds. Feel free to share your thoughts with us using the hashtag RuleOfThirdsPod. And for more from us, follow us on Instagram at RuleOfThirdsPod or our personal accounts for myself, Burns, Burns JNR, Mike at underscore man like Mike, and Jude at Kente Kwame. Catch you guys in the next one.